My top three favorite superfoods are raw cacao, chia seeds, and hemp seeds. So raw cacao is by far my favorite. I have it every single day. I actually have all three every single day, um, which makes it my favorite. But with raw cacao, I have it every morning um, as part of my fafi or my faux latte experience. And uh, I use it for energy, so it, it does have a stimulant in it. It's uh, theobromine. And so unlike caffeine, which it has in minimal quantities, theobromine is, uh, stimulates the heart and it actually helps the heart pump better. So it's not going to give you the sort of jittery feeling that you get after drinking coffee. Um, but it also has a, a, a very high number of antioxidants um, and minerals and other, other awesome nutrients. Some of the ones that stick out and that I really um, enjoy are magnesium, which is a really important mineral for the body and for bone health. And uh, anandamide, which is known as the bliss chemical. So uh, it's it's sort of uh, it's it's known to to you know make you happy, give you those happy feelings. And uh, and cacao actually is known to be a mood enhancer because it does stimulate the, the release of serotonin. And serotonin is associated with uh, with, with emotions and good feelings and happiness. And so. Cacao in general is just an all-around happy superfood, and uh, you add a little bit of it into, you know, your shakes, your smoothies, maybe even into a dessert at night. Uh, it's um, it's it's a great way to, to give you that sort of boost in energy, but also to get, deliver a variety of nutrition. And uh, chia seeds. So chia seeds are awesome because they are enriched in both soluble and insoluble fiber, and so. Soluble fiber is the kind of fiber that feeds your good bacteria. It's important. A lot of foods are rich in soluble fiber, uh, but insoluble fiber is a little bit more rare, and it's sort of this jelly-like, mucilogenic structure that forms when you sort of soak chia for a few minutes. You'll notice that it sort of uh, builds up into this jelly-like structure, and that is important because it adds bulk to your stool. It also is known to sort of sweep up toxins and, and it help them with help your body with excretion. So, you know, it's great for helping go to the washroom. And I like to use it, especially when I'm traveling. Uh, just add a couple of tablespoons, chia seeds to a glass of water, let it sit for a few minutes, and I drink it before bed. And it really helps me with uh, emptying my bowels, which is really important when traveling and eating food that uh, you're generally not exposed to. Um, chia is also great because it has essential fatty acids. And that brings me to brings me to my next favorite superfood, which is hemp, because hemp also has essential fatty acids, omega-3 and omega-6, that actually has them in the perfect balance of what the body needs. So we need a certain amount of omega-6s uh, and 3s, we need more omega-6s, less omega-3s, but the problem is our diet is just way too high in omega-6 and way too low in omega-3. And omega-3 is anti-inflammatory, we need it. We need it to help build our cell walls. It's a brain food. So I, I use hemp regularly, I add it as a protein, because it's also a protein. It's a complete protein, and about you know three or four grams in one meal is enough to give you a significant amount of protein for your day. And so, if you were just to drink hemp milk, which is ridiculously easy, it requires just hemp seed and water, you know you're you're, you're really helping your system with um, with some plant-based sources of protein, which is great. Uh, and my last reason for loving hemp seeds is that it doesn't require soaking, unlike other nuts and seeds, if you are plant-based. And so, you know, when I make milk. I like to make milk at the last minute. So with hemp, I can just throw a few tablespoons into a blender, add some water, add maybe a little bit of vanilla and some coconut oil, and I have my milk to enjoy with, with my chia, to have a little chia pudding. I may even use all three of these superfoods into a chia pudding or into a parfait of sorts. And so those are my favorite superfoods, and, uh, and I hope you give them a try.